So the first thing I say is I think you, you have to draw one very important distinction uh, between some of the crypto assets uh, that are out there uh, that are purely speculative assets, have no backing. Bitcoin is a good example, nothing behind it. Um, and where the price moves around hugely. And as we've said, if you invest in that sort of asset, you've got to be prepared to lose uh, all of your money because there's nothing uh, underlying uh, the asset itself. Draw a distinction between that uh, and some of the proposals for using crypto technology uh, for um, financial assets that are actually linked to something. Uh, stable coins, uh, for example. And it's quite interesting, the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision has just put out some some uh, proposals on the cap holder crypto assets. They've drawn a very strong distinction between the highly speculative, nothing behind them type of asset and um, assets that actually uh, uh, are backed, uh, are backed with something. So on the on the first I think I'd say, and how big does it have to come before it's a financial stability risk? Uh, at the moment, we see this uh, happening mainly in in in, uh, in retail markets. Uh, the amounts are large. I think there are issues uh, of uh, uh, investor protection uh, here. As I say, these are uh, highly speculative assets, uh, but they're not at the they're not at the size that they will cause financial stability risk, and they're not. Um, connected deeply into the uh, into the uh, standing financial uh, financial system. Were we to start to see those links develop, where we start to see it move out of uh, retail more into wholesale uh, and see the financial sector more exposed, then I think you might start to think about risks in that sense. On the other sort uh, of um, financial assets using crypto technology. I mean, there's nothing wrong with smart contracts. It depends on kind of what it's used for. Um, there, I think the international community uh, needs to and is developing standards to actually be able to distinguish, uh, but also to have regulatory standards uh, for that sort of product. Mm. But at the moment, the, um, uh, the speculative boom in some of crypto is very noticeable, but I don't think it's crossed the boundary into financial stability risk.